This whole thing, oh my girl, look at it. This is before I do anything to it in the morning. So first we gotta take it down. Ugh, and I typically will sleep with it up because if not, then it's, you know, gets my curls all frizzy and tangled up and stuff like that. So this is what it first looks like in the morning when I take it down. We're working with like a sixth day of my wash and go type of hair. So it's a bit dry and it's definitely getting bigger and frizzier. So first I'm gonna bust out with this Echo Styler Gel. I like the one with the shea butter in it best because I think it doesn't dry out as much. And then we're gonna hit it with a pattern water bottle. So I'm gonna start by just giving a little moisture first because my hair loves water, like it drinks it up. When I go out of town to like, you know, beaches and stuff, I most definitely have braids because when I get out there, like I look like a powder puff, it's like this big. Then I'm gonna take about this much of the gel and I'm just gonna hit the sides. You know, you, you can see it already getting more moisturized. I'm gonna hit the back too and spray the back a little bit. And then y'all, I am such a fan of the pattern line, especially for the tools. Like this brush, this bristle brush, I just got it and it is already my best friend. And before then, I, I know you shouldn't really, you know, do this with these types of brushes, but this is my pattern brush. It's kind of like the Demon brush, except it is a lot stronger. So if you got a lot of hair like me, you're probably wearing out them dimming brushes at least two or three times a year. Like this little part, and I know mine's nasty, just disregard that. This little part right here would always just end up sliding off eventually. Pattern doesn't do that. So I'm gonna take the bristle brush, and I like to take the little hard side first and just brush it around the perimeter. I don't really slick edges or anything like that, but I definitely wanna make sure I got it up in a nice sleek way. Once I get it all brushed up, then I take my edge control also by pattern. I like to do this first, because again, I don't do the whole baby hair thing. I take a generous amount once I got it all brushed up and just hit it like this, because my curly hair, the flyaways will start to, you know, pop out after a while. Once I got it all slicked up, I will take a double rubber band and go to work. Then I just fluff it out a little bit and voila.